Nikki Edlick is a 67-year-old mother and former private school French teacher, and he's probably one of the last people you'd think would be taking her first psychedelic drug trip. I wanted to take part in something that would help me deal with the anxiety issues that I was suffering from, mm -hmm. from the fears, and from a profound sadness of knowing that my life was going to be cut short. Edlick has ovarian cancer. To help her deal with anxiety from the disease, she joined a study that had her take a dose of psilocybin, the active ingredient in what are commonly called magic mushrooms. The study is testing whether the drug experience can help cancer patients with their psychotherapy for anxiety. Well, I, I was um, skeptical at first about this study. I was um, concerned we're taking people who have terminal illness who are anxious, and I was concerned that from an ethical perspective, um, did not want to make them more anxious. Edlick was the first of three patients Dr. Ross has treated so far. Out of 32, he plans to enroll. He says all showed benefits without side effects, although experts emphasize people should not try psilocybin on their own. It can cause bouts of anxiety and feelings of paranoia in some people. I had several um, different parts to the experience. The first part was a very beautiful psychedelic experience where the world was made up of jewels and I was in a dome and this dome had stripes of colors that were all jewel-like and it, it was like a kaleidoscope but it didn't move so the colors were repeated. Edlick says that experience helped her see debilitating personal struggles in a different way. The issues that I talked about or thought about or went into during my experience were transformative in the sense that I got to look at them through a different lens. Dr. Ross says all of his patients have wanted to take a second dose of the drug. He said a future study might allow that, but for now he's focusing on feasibility and safety of the treatment. Warren Levinson, The Associated Press, New York.